a collaborative study involving the Wyoming Cooperative Fish and Wildlife Unit, Western Ecosystems Technology, Wyoming Game and Fish Department, and Bureau of Land Management is taking a look at what effect drought, severe winters, and development activity is having on mule deer nutrition, reproduction, and survival on the Pinedale Land Decline of Western Wyoming, where mule deer numbers are in decline. Since 2012, researchers have maintained a sample group of 25 mule deer, collecting data on nutritional condition of the deer, then comparing it at different times of the year. Assistant Research Professor Kevin Monteith with the Wyoming Cooperative Fish and Wildlife Research Unit at the University of Wyoming says the first part of the study was collecting body condition of the deer upon their arrival to winter range from their summer range. That gives us that key piece of information to help understand the decisions that they make uh, while they're on winter range as far as the habitats choices that they make. Of course, considering uh, the mesa here with the amount of energy development that's occurred in this landscape, one of the, the key components of that is trying to understand why individuals may choose to avoid uh, disturbance more than other individuals and, and um, whether or not that's associated with their nutritional condition as they go through the winter. Blood samples help researchers examine health issues associated with stress and determine if overwinter conditions are affecting pregnancy and the deer's ability to maintain it. Body mass data helps calibrate nutritional condition and ultrasound measurements estimate body fat percentages, but also whether deer are using muscle tissue when fat reserves are depleted. New deer brought into the study, like others before them, have a tooth extracted to determine age. GPS collars mark a deer's location regularly so researchers can tell which habitats deer stay in or avoid and connect that data to changes in nutritional condition, survival and reproduction. These same deer will be recaptured in a few months prior to returning to their summer range and the same data will be collected and compared to that taken earlier. This study will help wildlife managers understand how mule deer respond to habitat loss, disturbances and development on the landscape and possibly how minimizing impacts to that landscape can help maintain or improve deer numbers. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.